out of counties. It's that time of the week again. Weekly walkabout. We've got heaps of cool stuff this week. We've been flat knacker, house calls, and plenty of stuff coming in as well. We've got some great gear. A little carved ivory necklace. Beautiful uh, Meersham cheroot holder over the back there in its original case. A little bump and go of German made cars. Pretty cool. Nice little sterling silver matchbox cover. George Jensen, little pendant on a silver chain. Nice Seiko men's uh, automatic chronograph. Little Tiffany starfish as well. Lovely old Victorian pie funnel over the back. Nice little Victorian box as well. Little Morshelin ware or something. Uh, it's a nice little gold bar brooch with a cameo. Lots of nice things in the jewellery cabinet this week. Cereal toys, silver rings, silver jewellery. A couple of nice little die casts, little Mighty Might Australian made cap guns, pretty cool. Well, let's look what else we've got, guys. A couple of nice big oil paintings by Wycombe Perry. Big river scene there, a nice big one of the gum trees. Lovely sort of um, Edwardian Duchess dress up. A couple of plasterware woofer dogs. Yes, we've got nice little arts and crafts sort of piano stool. Looks to be Blackwood or something. This big map. A little group lot of china and glassware and stuff. Big lot of tools and gear. Big lot of Coke bottles and stuff. Some cool clothes. Old footy jumpers are pretty cool. Nice vintage gents jacket there. Sort of waterproof with all the faux fur lining. Uh, box of CDs. Tools and blokey stuff. There's some massive group lot. Lamps, pictures, sort of novelty stuff, aeroplanes, outdoor figures, boats as well. Nice big lot of stuff. And a group lot of oriental gear. A couple of boxes of retro china and stuff. Some entrenching tools. There's a big box of corsets and girdles. And clothing and accessories and china and glass. Nice pair of Mordaunt and short speakers up the top there. Big lot of pictures and prints. Stereo equipment, china, glassware, guitars, lamps. There's a nice oil painting there with a group lot with mirrors and the cats and stuff. Boxes of pretty china, reel-to-reel -reel gear, blokey stuff, tins, toys, and outer space spider toy in its box. Nice big uh, vice there. Box of electrical stuff, nice old tins. Got some good books and stuff, annuals, footy books. Posters. Looks like an old Bell and Howe projector down there in a box. What else have we got? Stamps. Military. Lovely big collection of art glass up the top. Nice big lot of blue and white china. Nice cruet sets there in their stands. There's three of them. Another big lot of pretty china there as well. Violin. Heaps of amber glass. We've got another lovely big staghorn fern. This is pretty cool as well, a little butterfly, a little repro butterfly chair with the cowhide sling. Nice big chest of drawers, big sort of 70s low line one. Nice little pond yacht there. And else have we got the bloody pink funny tongue chair over here which goes up and down. Nice walker and hall cutlery set in the box. There you go, what else have we got? Little kids table and chairs are pretty cute from the 1970s. Beautiful collection of framed tapestries and stuff. Uh, that's pretty cool, the old clothes hanger, clothes ringer, great thing. Reproduction cast iron golden fleece bell, big shelf lots of glass and crystal. There you go, heaps of cool stuff this week, been pretty bloody busy. More big lots of blue glass and pink glass and coloured glass. Some cast iron parrots, another big lot of covered glass up the top there, a couple of boxed Wallace and Gromit things, little box of mixed items, this is a great old sun newspaper boys sort of selling cap and else have we got violins and plastic marks toys and reproduction cast iron and vintage star wars there you go big lot of pretty china there pie funnels rocky horror picture show cards and some other ones some peanuts bobbleheads pretty cool retro umbrella old christmas decorations big box of comic books is cool more cut crystal cards glass glass so we've got, this is a nice book, George Bell, The Art of Influence, all about George Bell, um, sort of the father of modern art in Melbourne. Good book. Little group, lots of pottery and stuff. Pretty cool Australian RAAF F86 Sabre. And there's a pretty cool old RAAF pilot's cap there, sort of World War II vintage. 
blue po phone, more reproduction cast iron bits, little red telephones cool, money boxes, jewellery, records, shotgun boxes, little reproduction diver's helmet, Fitzroy come on the line, sign patches, pretty cool, some bits of case got pottery at the top, some nice crystal decanters, bloody Jar Jar Binks, what else have we got? Toys and stuff, little Britons ones, and some interesting ephemera. Some nice old MCC membership medallions in their packets. He's nice, the big Cinnabar lamp. We've put with a nice little bit of export ware, Japanese pottery. Huge big Susie Cooper tea set down the bottom's nice. Nice old portable typewriter. Glassware, some Lloyd Rees art reference books. Nice lots of china and glass again. Uh, Jim Beam decanter, some nice little Victorian glass opalescent swans. Nice lot of tins, lovely old lantern, Florentine sort of salt and pepper grinders, and cabinet, nice old, looks to be an Ansonia clock over the back there, nice lot of tins, lovely big lot of cut glass and crystal, some more tins and packaging, the Windsor Group, which is a nice book, nine young Sydney artists who painted in Woolloomooloo, made at 1935 to 1945, sort of like the birth of modern art in Sydney, give or take, there you go, a couple of other nice books, William Ricketts and Margaret Preston, Lovely big um, tobacco pipe, a couple of nice bits of enamelled ware, reproduction golden fleece, nice little box of Japanese tin toys, some Josephina glass, this is nice, the Griffiths Brothers shop, um, little scales and leather to go with them, some lovely bits of Edwardian glass, pretty cool old Bobby's helmet or something, Australian flora in art, it's a lovely book over the back, nice old Victorian water monkey set there with the glass upside down. Nice bit of Greg Daly Luster Australian Pottery. Lovely big Italian glass whooper dog. And the two Diana plates over the back. They're like salesman samples. And they would have taken these around to show um, what they can print on their ceramics for your company. Cool bits. Interesting little remued vase as well with the twin handles. Bit unusual. Anyway, that'll do for today. Hopefully you saw something you liked. You know that I don't really care if you did or if you didn't. We'll see you around like a Greg Daly vase. Yeah.